Rodgers out of the shotgun. Protected, and now he'll take off. He's got a lot of room to run. He's still going. And Aaron Rodgers, who ran for a season-high 60 yards in that Week 8 matchup here in Atlanta, gets 28. That shows you what Aaron Rodgers is made of right there as he gets through the line. There was no thought whatsoever of sliding when he got there. Instead, he's going to take it as far as he can and, and not worry about whether or not he takes a hit. That's his longest run of the year on first down. Here's Rutkowski, this poor guy. And he has the fumble early. And he is really frustrated. The guy they, they enjoy having on their team, the second year pro out of Oklahoma, a sixth round pick, and kind of taking the role of John Coon. And there have been a lot of drops today for the Green Bay Packers and TJ Lang, who missed three games earlier in the year with a broken foot. Named to his first Pro Bowl is down and needs attention. And another injury, and we were talking about it yesterday, Joe. I mean, they practice on Saturdays, and it seems like every time we've had a Packers game, somebody's gone down on a Saturday workout. And it's remarkable. And I know that Mike McCarthy spends a lot of time evaluating how he's doing things in the practice schedule and how to keep the players healthy. That's become what this league is about, really, is just making sure you get to Sunday healthy enough to play. But the amount of injuries that this organization has had, not just this year, but for many years, I can guarantee you that McCarthy will be taking a hard look at the way they do things and trying to correct it. But I haven't seen any team decimated the way these Packers have been for many years. Well, they're still looking at T.J. Lang. This guy is a tremendous pro. Eighth year out of Eastern Michigan. He's had a great year. Really has. C.J. Lang, he finally got voted to his first Pro Bowl, and he missed some time. You can see he's in a he's in a great deal of pain right now. Now Jason Spriggs, the rookie, will join Don Barkley, two guys off the bench. And the Packers are out of off extra offensive linemen. And I said this during one of our hits early in the pregame. The Green Bay Packers buy came on October second. It's been a long push. You see Lang emotional with that injury to his knee. And it's been hard just to try and stay healthy week to week. Goody, go, go, go. We had 15 guys on the injury report coming into this game. Falcons at four. Rodgers throws and the pass is picked. Intercepted by Jalen Collins. What a game he's had. And Collins goes down at the 30. We'll take another look. It's a turnover. So they'll take another look as well. And that ball looks to be on the ground. And it does. It, hard to tell if his forearms were underneath the ball or not. The ball definitely hits the ground, but did he have clean possession of it? Trying to get the ball into Randall Cobb. He has not worked back through the football. Jalen Collins is able to drive on it, at least make a play on it, whether or not it holds up as an interception. Mike Pereira in our booth thinks it's incomplete, not an interception, as this ball goes through the arms of Collins, then gets trapped against his body. But we'll wait and see. It's not all that clear cut. If it holds up as a turnover, it's the third of the game for the Packers. And the second interception for Aaron Rodgers, who went 318 straight throws without an interception before he was picked by the Cowboys last week. I'm going to go back to that T.J. Lang injury, Joe, and by no means am I suggesting that a practice schedule would prevent the injury that he just suffered, the point being just amazed at how many injuries the Packers team has had, and it's continued again in this ball game. This is just today. Kentrell Bryce was hurt on the opening kickoff. Micah Hyde a shoulder. Lane Taylor's out with a knee. Jake Ryan is out with a shoulder, and Ty Montgomery. His return is questionable with a rib injury, and now T.J. Lang. Emotional.
able to compose himself. Here comes a call from Bill Pinovich. Tell you more about Lang in a second. After reviewing the play, prior to the defender possessing the ball, the ball hit the ground. It's an incomplete pass. It'll be third and ten at the 47 yard line. And the Green Bay has. Please reset the game clock to three minutes and 27, 26 seconds. And just to finish on TJ Lang, he was a great guy, as we said, going to his first Pro Bowl. His future now is very much in doubt, depending on the severity of that injury. He's a free agent to be. So he's coming off one of his best years. He finally gets voted into the Pro Bowl and here in a 30-point game. With under five to go in the third quarter, he gets that injury. That has to be part of that reaction from TJ. I think you're right, and, and I think also, Joe, in addition to that, the reaction that we're seeing from TJ Lang. And you can tell that he believes it's something extremely significant. And it's difficult when you're talking about knees when you see somebody walking off the field. I've, I've played with guys, Mark Stepnowski, my center, he played five more snaps after he needed a complete reconstruction. So hard to determine anything, but at least he, based on his reaction, looks like he thinks it's pretty significant.